Hope you enjoyed our intermission. It was a little sloppily chosen. I know I kind of butchered that. Squeezy, 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 chameleon. Looking ass. Anyway, welcome to the Square Show. I'm your host, Square. And, uh, yeah, welcome to the Shield Stream. Streaming at 8 p.m. Uh, coming at you live from the heartland just to give an update. Again, in case no one's heard or need to be reminded, I have surgery tomorrow. Um, today, I've taken just one Advan and a half of a half. I'm going to plan to try to do that a few more days and then eliminate the final half. And then we'll be down to one. Basically at the same spot with the buprenorphine for the, for the moment. Okay. Uh, and even at this, um, I, I'm I teetered on the edge. I mean, I, I am on the edge. Uh, I've felt the, uh, the receptor phenomenon and, you know, yeah, it's, I'm having constant symptoms and they just all like kicked into high gear, noticeable, really noticeable last night. Um, I think I actually have covered this before, but I'm curious to see if anything else happened. Oh. Looks like a soldier got detained. I actually want to see this real quick in North Korea. Tonight, the army confirming American soldier Travis King is detained in North Korea after bolting across the border and effectively handing himself over to the regime run by Kim Jong-un. Washington racing to signal he was acting alone. One of our service members was on tour uh, willfully and without authorization cross the military demarcation line. Two U.S. officials telling NBC News he'd faced disciplinary action in South Korea and was supposed to be leaving the country. Another official said military police escorted him as far as they could go, an airport checkpoint. He then tagged along a commercial tour to the demilitarized zone and made the dangerous crossing. He'll certainly be de detained in that area initially and then probably take into an interrogation facility. We were in North Korea at the DMZ in 2017, seeing for ourselves the tense, militarized border. And we're not allowed to stay here for very long. A US official tells NBC News escorts from the tour tried to chase the soldier, but didn't catch him. In 2017, a North Korean soldier was shot multiple times as he dashed across the line to defect to the South. He had to be dragged in darkness to safety. That same year, U.S. hostage Otto Wombia was released after 18 months' detention. He was in a vegetative state and died soon afterwards, escalating tensions between the U.S. and North Korea. The two countries have been growing further apart, with Kim Jong-un testing ballistic missiles, one fired just tonight. Today's events risking adding to the diplomatic challenges at a difficult time. Yeah. Rocket Man is not going to stop. I don't know when they're going to get that through their fucking head, but he is not going to stop. He's going to fucking do something, and it's going to be like, oh, there was all this focus and talk about him. Nobody ever did anything. Yep. It's usually how it fucking goes. Rocket Man is not going to stop. He is, you know, like, he, he played nice with Trump. He knew better 
and now ever since Biden's been in, he's been fucking, he's been doing what he want, when he want. Dressing up like a fucking general who's, he looked like he had fucking been through two or three fucking tours and combat medals to that fucking get up he had on. Motherfucker would never fight, fight in a military encounter. None of his life depended on it. Oh, guys, remember the watermelon Z Kittles strain that was bullshit, that Delta 8 gas station shit? Well, for comparison purposes, I decided to go out and get the watermelon Z Kittles real version by Elevate. Um, I'll show this out. Eh, why don't we go ahead and show it now? Yeah, I know. I have a lot of tabs open. It happens. Uh, let's see. Need mobile device. Fucking head, man. It's not right. You come out of rehab and coming out of rehab, they put you on these medications because you're an actual medical patient. They say, this is the regimen and, you know, plan you need to be following now. Okay. You know, so I do. And... Huh. Years gone by. Oh, you just happened to got the uh, bright idea to go ahead and check out YouTube and get on there. Oh, you, you're a sensitive person. You, you care about fairness and you know, stuff like that. Like you're not a person that's overly aggressive and able to be manipulated. Oh, fucking great. I didn't know anything about these types of shit on the internet. If I had done it. Or if I had known more, I probably would not have came on. And if I did come on, I definitely wouldn't have been so forthcoming with stuff that I had been. That's just the facts. And Fusion had a major part in playing nice guy that uh, kept making me feel comfortable to do it. He can fucking deny it all he wants to. Which is what I imagine he does when he's not around his friends and not being recorded. All right, why isn't this working? What is going on with this? Oh, fucking A. Y'all are going to have to excuse for a second.
I don't think I'll be resubscribing to this fucking program. Every fucking time it seems like I want to do this, I got to fucking re shut it down. And it should not be acting like that. Ah, it's raining outside. You've already been outside. Get away. No. Go lay down. Go lay down, bull. All right. Let me try to exit in and out on my phone. See if that works. All right, I'm just about to give up and say fuck it. It's getting on my nerves. All right, fuck it. Do it another way. Since that wants to give us technical difficulties tonight. I may not be able to, to sit up and stay with you guys this whole time because I'm, I'm just not. Um, <laughs> I'm not myself. I'm trying to stay myself, but this shit is something else. People wonder why, like, well, you know, like they tried to play the whole act here for a little, because, you know, there for a while, I hadn't, it's been a while since I brought up, uh, fucking, the thing in January, and they're like, he's bitching and talking about somebody and griping about them trying to save his life and all. It wasn't ever about saving my life. And you motherfuckers know that. I, I don't see how you can just so easily lie. It ought to be, you know, it ought to not be that easy. Because most people have a, you know, a conscience, what have you. Now this thing is giving me problems just to get the regular camera back on. What in the literal fuck? Do I got to go into task manager? Because it seems like this thing is not clearing out. Yeah, in that fucking task. Why is the program still up? There we go. 
It's like that thing don't stop running. I knew it hadn't restarted. All right, now it looks like the fucking thing restarted. The fuck, man. Paid money for this fucking program. It's supposed to be the shit. Wow. All right. Uh, I don't know. You guys uh, just bear with me. I'll be back. We'll fucking do a, a reset. All right, testing, testing. We got it working. So let me show this off to you guys. In the packaging. It's 510 Elevate brand. This is the uh, 510 vape device I have CO can uh, it's my regular vape uh, 
Well, I'll be damned. There we go. Uh, so it's got 89.33% THC. Total cannabinoids is 92. Has a terpene level. But it's got botanical terps added. And uh, it's actually a really nice the style of cartridge. I don't have any complaints on it. I like the uh, bigger mouthpiece and yeah, it's not live resin, but still supposed to be some good stuff. So went ahead and got it to try to test it out and let you guys know the difference between this and a Delta 8. I can probably already tell you it's going to be huge, but enough about that stuff. Let's get back to some reaction videos and whatnot. Oh my God! Yeah, you know, same thing. I I go through. Yeah, gotcha, man. Worky verse. You know, and I don't know if you really know this, man, but like, this. Am I the only one that knows this about social stuff? When an event happens and you've always seen the same fucking people crawling together and, and they're going to support. I mean, every time they go on these live streams, they are supporting, giving uh, energy to said screen. All right. And that includes the individual making it and all that so that's why i've been a little taken back at who i've seen has uh been doing what for whom or at what live stream and not and you, you just love the people that are like you can't tell me where i can go you're right i can't i can fucking keep you from coming to my place because uh I see that shit, and, and the only reason why they get mad about that shit is because they want to be allowed to keep coming in your lives so they can act as a go-between, you know, one of the many go-betweens. They have so many of them, it's almost unfathomable how many they probably got. Also got two grams of wax. Yeah, you heard that right. Two grams. Usually, uh, I've never seen them sell... Any other never seen a product that's that has two gram capacity? I thought it was only one gram uh, concentrates and stuff like that were allowed to be sold. Apparently, I was either that used to be the deal and it's changed. I, I don't know really, uh, but yeah, they have a two gram granddad stash strain. I've never tried it, and. Uh, Wax, cured wax, actually kind of looks a little bit like crumble wax type. I'm going to put some of it up in a storage container. Because definitely don't need this much concentrate at once or any type of sitting. But I was watching the uh, the documentary about um, <laughs> oh shit, what's that?
I'll tell you what, though, watching the uh, Tiger King documentary was intriguing, especially the story about the other guy, number two, uh, Doc, who's had who had his like kingdom longer and was more successful and everything else. But I hear that he's actually been charged. Who would have thought? You know, you look back at the story of him and how he came up, it's clearly, you know, getting married to a 15-year-old, um, the girl forging her dad's signature to get it and all that. And all that came out. He was still up in business up until even this year still. I think it actually business is still going. I don't know. We'll look into that, too. It's got me intrigued. So I got the majority of this wax put up here I'm gonna put that over yonder and then I got the thing it came in so I haven't smoked since that thing called well I, I take that back I have smoked it was just some wasn't anything of this caliber so I'm happy Uh, did he steal from Ryan? I don't know. But um, why don't we look more at the Gotcha Man Live. And I'm going to continue what I was doing earlier. Just let people that are tuned in to uh, notice the comments as they go by. You can hear Gotcha Man and replying to them. Because it's basically like all this this was about. And, and was about making fun of Johnny. And like I said, do I agree with everything with, with him and Ryan on just totally his side completely? No, I don't. But I mean, at the same time, I think all of this, like this dude came into this, acted like a friend for Johnny. You know, he's openly criticized, been at Ryan up church and everything. And you know, may, I, I, I don't know. Like, I heard some weird stuff that from last year that he was hired by Up Church's team and all this shit. And, you know, who knows what's the real truth. But anyone that's been on here the whole time knows where his story began and where he's at now. And it's intriguing. We all love TTT. Yeah, not me, Johnny. Dash Bill, I don't. I, res I respect his military service and thank him. I respectfully respect with wholeheartedness his military service. As far as his civilian acts so far, character, I, I mm. Andrea, <laughs> it's rich. You're sitting there laughing about its conspiracy. <laughs> so that tells me <laughs> you were feeding me bullshit. <laughs> and if not, then you you just a flip flop from hell. She's lying and saying gang stalkers did it. I thought that's what they did to you, Andrea, when they called and sent an investigator saying that you were trafficking or pimping out your kid. Were you lying about that? Really? Are you seriously fucking lying? The comments are on people. If anyone wants to come in here and not do something... And, and trying to trigger me or fuck with me, or whatever, you're more than likely coming here and look. I am actually going to look at the comments tonight, okay? Not not right this second, but I, I'm going to look at them. I mean, you got 
Andrea, we got Charlie, we got Lady Tracy, we got, I mean, it don't, you know, this is how you figure out who's with who. But if you openly talk about, this is how you figure out and make your decisions or at least base some of your decisions on. I don't make all my decisions from who I see in a chat, but come on, people. Did he just say I'll take a break because I, I want to kill myself? Did he just say that? Because he, oh, he said, I'm taking a break because I don't want to kill myself. Oh, and announcement, don't, they better not try to, my haters take that and because this, this live will stay up. But Yonja Man just said, I'm taking a break because I don't want to kill myself. All you people in here that are laughing at this. I don't care what Johnny's wrong on or what he did wrong. You cannot. This is the whole fucking thing about what I was talking about. Another wrong a retaliation, keeping it going. It there, there's no justice. It's just a witch hunt. It's an echo chamber. He's showing his kids, so I'm not worried. That's on him. I don't think you switch. I've watched. I'm one of the people you're talking about, and I have watched you off and on for the past year. I've sent, you know, I actually sent this guy um, some things um, that if he wanted to use, then he could have used uh, different videos and things that I'd recorded. Um, so I, I, I mean, but then again, you know, I've never tried to act like I was his friend and, or, well, I have tried to act like I'm, you know, I'm friends with him. Like, and the stuff I'm talking about, I did send him stuff on Johnny and things like that. But, you know, that was back when I had still believed that stuff. And he had actually first, you know, threw me all off with the going up there and recording him thing and all that. So I've been around since. He started, and uh, I don't think, I think it's fair to say the only people that might know what Gotcha Man is thinking or reasons or how he feels is his wife. And that's, I mean, respectfully, because he plays a very good poker face. That's all I'm saying. But regardless, just because he's got, just because I'm pointing out that good ability trade in him, that doesn't mean that what he just joked on and said a while ago is just as fucked up as some of the things that they talk about Dagburn doing or that I've done. You know, there is no equity in this so called community, whatever. Look right there. If you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, I'm going to call you out. All right. Well, I'm calling you out for basically making fun of suicide in terms of Johnny Goble getting harassed online. <laughs> oh, 
nice that you're not on the side. Well, I started off on the anti Johnny side, and I was pro Johnny. So I guess now I'm kind of like you. I'm like, you know, we're all wrong and shit needs to change. But that's not how you are. You, you, he says he don't have a side, but he, I think he does have a side. I mean, you could tell, and I'm not just basing it off his chat. But the content he does, the type of content, how he does and frames it, the plausible deniability some of the content can do. And also, we've seen the opposite side where his content has gotten under some people's skin. So, is he much better? I, I don't know. But supposedly it's all for entertainment and it's not meant to be a dickhead. Unless, of course, it's about Johnny. What a asshole, man. I mean, what an asshole. What a fucking asshole. You wouldn't go corner him with a drug test. You knew that that wouldn't have worked. Unless you fucking had a camera rolling and that was your only thing to show that he wouldn't take it. Okay, I well, we're talking about Johnny. There, we're watching about him, but just as an example, um, I think he stood for police accountability. I think he stood for, and he's went back and forth on it. And people are going to say the same about me. Like, it's hard when you are getting bombarded by fifty plus or whatever people going at you every day. And, a, and several channels making videos at you. And if you have mental issues, like a diagnosis of anxiety or depression, I'm not talking about schizophrenia or something serious. If you have an issue like that, you're going, more than likely the person's going to lash out. Like there's, almost, there's only so much ignoring and, and saying, please stop and, and all that that you can do. I can speak 130% from fucking personal experience in my younger life growing up that I was the guy that didn't confront or fight back. I was the guy to say stop or please stop or you know, try to get away. And, and, and you know what? There was one time my brother kept fucking fucking with me. And after I told him stop several times, I punched him in the back of the head and he got mad. Couldn't believe I would I guess got the balls to stand up for myself. So he decided to try to come tackle at me and fuck me up. And my dad came and tackled the shit out of him down on the ground and grabbed him and said, he fucking told you five goddamn times to stop, you know, and basically kept him in a chokehold, got made him calm down. Then he got up and he walked out of there. But I mean, that's, you know, and I didn't only experience that with my, like, my brother, I didn't even experience that that much with. 
I had to deal with girls in school, uh, putting fucking eyeliner and shit on the back of my neck just because I sat in front of them or something. And you know how many times I wanted to literally turn around and slap one of them preppy bitches that was getting dicked down later on in 11th grade? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. And people are going to say, oh, that's misogynistic as fuck. Blah, blah, blah. How many times do you have to be nice and, and try to be nice with a, a, a female? And even if they don't want to be nice to you, you just be nice, you know, just casually you don't try to talk to them or bug them and they still had the nerve after me politely saying cows i know what you're doing please stop not doing it so you know one day i just had to raise my hand and i i basically told what was going on and the whole class you know and, and as a result of that i got up and I just walked out, and the teacher's like, "What's wrong?" I was like, I, "I'm, I'm leaving." I'm like, "Because I'm obviously not wanted here," you know. And and people wonder why I have reacted been like how I've been when it comes to these people trying to interfere in my life and everything, all because I decided to make a YouTube channel. Come on. Yeah, oh, you're right. We all are. I'll I, I give one credit and agreement with a uh, Red Reaper on this because we all need to take knowledge of this or, and acknowledge it. We're all hypocrites, me included. That's it. No, no, no. It. Genuine being genuine doesn't mean you're not you're not possible going to do something that could be hypocritical. You know, um, I started off trying to be genuine and everything, and it backfired on me. So, your form of genuineness and all that entails, it must be different than mine. I guess, or you just must not, you just have a way to where when you talk, people can't like, you know, it, maybe it's just the way that I've been raised on how to go about speaking and forming my conversations and phrases because I do. And, you know, sometimes if, if I get into something, I can elicit more <clears throat> information than needed. And that's dangerous on here. Yeah, and the and the and the and the, the best thing we could do. When I say we, I mean everyone on YouTube. If somebody, quote, calls you out and you know there's no merit to the claim or anything, just don't respond. I mean, it doesn't elicit or require a response. And if they ask why you didn't respond and you tell them because there's no point or something to that effect, and they say, well, how do you know that or can say that? Because I, I know myself. I mean, if you want to, or you can just leave it at that and tell them to fuck off. <clears throat> no, because y'all say, well, well, just say what you feel, man. And then the person says what they feel, and you're like, ha, 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 really? Oh, fuck. We're going to be able to tear this shit all up. You know, you're, you're snakes.
so you just do this for shits, giggles, and laughs, and and uh, and you know, get out there in comedy or whatever. You get get some clout. Is that it? Yeah, uh, I I I gotta give uh, points on that. He's not lying. I mean, if that's the actual facts, and see, the problem is you'll have other sides saying, "Oh, it's fake news, etc." But if that's the actual facts, the situation that occurred, and she just handed over a house willingly, like that, that does speak volumes, guys. Yeah, Cash will make a video debunking Ron stealing from you. Cheeseburger said so. That's a big asset.
<laughs> Boy, the haters are really calling tonight. <laughs> Attacking mental health apparently is hip, y'all. See, I don't agree with that on this part of the video. So you can't say I'm against God's man. I'm not against him. I'm just analyzing video by video. Sound familiar? Damn, Milkman putting out that that truth um, for once. You see, I don't know who runs that account. It's someone in the Gene team. That's one of the videos on there. I thought it was Workiverse at first, but it's obviously somebody Gene team because there are always some Gene team lives and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't see anybody saying anything back on it oh wait yep we got ghosts okay orgy verse associate or uh, member excuse me yeah salute thank him for his service but you don't have to fucking just agree with him on fucking youtube do you even pay attention to the shit he's done? No, you don't know half the shit he's done because I don't even watch all half the shit you do. Fuck you, world famous Charlie D. Keep hating on it. I like the shit. Shout out to the milkman. Fuck yeah. He can make funny videos about me as long as they're parodies. I don't give a fuck. Shout out to the milkman. Huh, like literally y'all, well, except for Gotcha Man, but.
Now, I've called that out. I've said that it's obviously, you know, somewhat conspiracy, like there's a conspiracy of stuff going on behind the scenes, but it's not to the level I think that Johnny believes sometimes that it is. And I know I've mentioned that before in previous videos. Uh, someone's trying, I bet someone texting to like moderate to probably get rid of milk and shit like that. Man, I should have taken advantage of being in this live for this 27 minutes. Because for 27 minutes, this chat has just went free as can be. He violated the terms of his diversion program. He going to jail. Who? Because he goes to court this week. How did he, who had a diversion program? See, that's the thing. People try to act like and think and want to say that your boy Square had a diversion program. Your boy Square has a felony when J.R. Colt clearly said can't confirm nor deny. And then the only thing of substance he really said was that the sheriff could basically biasly deny me. Um, yeah, you know, which is fucked up because I've, I researched and found instances of where uh, people had that done on them. Uh, the USCCA network covered it and they didn't even have what I have happened. They had something similar where somebody stole one from their vehicle and because of that they can't get a ccw but that doesn't stop constitutional carry and especially where you live and um like i said it's supposed to be shout issue and everything else so i want something on that that they have no impact on that the only thing they can celebrate on that is is that legally i have to wait for my license to expire and then uh, a year from that date and then a year from that date i can take you know legal single-handed first line possession of something that will be left to me when ultimately the lord calls my grandfather home and uh heard it i mean because number one i was raised in a family that believes in the Second Amendment and it's right. And uh, number two, I was grown up and raised around and taught at an early age the safety and what you should do, what you shouldn't do, the nuances of all that. Always knowing what you look um, bef before you point, know what you know, and never point at something you're not prepared to, you know, all that stuff. Can mistakes happen in any type of thing? Yes, they can. Um, someone be punished for life, especially if the mistake resulted in nothing other than some minor property damage that was paid for? I don't think so. Uh, I think that would be bordering on the lines of unconstitutional. So my fucking local sheriff, as far as I'm concerned, he can go... If he want, you know, I mean, or the undershare, whatever, you know, I'm not talking to any of them again after how I was treated. I am done fucking with law enforcement. All right. Because that's just another thing that these people want to elicit reaction for me to do. And if I deal with them any further, it'll be through a lawyer, through the courts. Or with IA or whatever the fuck else.
or as we know, all I'll investigate themselves and find themselves innocent. I mean, shit, you need to give that to everybody. I guarantee there would never be anyone. We would eliminate crime overnight. Just give everybody the power to uh, judge themselves, investigate themselves. Not even judge themselves. Just let us investigate ourselves, put the evidence together that we're not guilty, and we'll eliminate crime overnight. Swear to God. On paper. All right, all right. Fuck that. Fuck that. We're gonna talk about this this shit for a second. So as I said, um, hmm. wow. I don't have any respect for that fuck, Charlie D. I don't. I don't have any respect at all. And I ain't worried about, you know, I'm not, I didn't just have this on until now. I ain't worried about it. You want to report it? Report my shit, and I guarantee you, not only will it get overturned, but even if it by some fucking miracle happened to go your way, guess what? I got a whole other channel backed up and already ready and activated for lives and everything else and got all the advanced features turned on. And I haven't posted one fucking thing. And I promise you, I spent much time on the creative name. So you'd never fucking find me. And I'd make sure that I do content vastly different from what I've done now. Probably even use a voice changer if I had to or text to speech. Whatever. Like, you people don't get it. I am going to immortalize this page. And. I am going to live by one of the quotes I always remembered, which is that even if you're standing in a majority of one, tell them the truth. Stand firm. And by God, I will stand firm. You will not. Go by unscrutinized or unchecked. Especially when you're wreaking havoc and not just one person, but multiple people's lives. <laughs> Doing it over interstate lines, making it a federal crime, federal harassment. I don't know. I have to look that up. Is there such thing as federal harassment? Federal law contains criminal provisions that penalize stalking another person when the unlawful behavior involves interstate commerce. Generally speaking, when harassing or stalking behavior involves the internet mail or activities that cross state lines, a crime can be charged as a federal offense. Bingo, bada bada boom, bitch. Do you need me to show it to you or do you trust me? Because I'm reading that straight from the fucking source. See, that's the problem with you people. You act as if I have, you, you've got everything needed to bury me and openly talk about it like it's nothing to talk about it. Just because you have video of me breaking down mentally. Because you take the effort of stalking me, of actively breaking the law, when all of you, by name, by association, etc., have been told to leave me alone, don't interact with me offline, online, 
in any way your alternate account, personality, etc. I've asked you all to cease and desist, making your fucked up allegations, character assassinations, smear campaign, complete, just good old fashioned mudslinging, might as well call it, uh, mistelling of events such as my auto wreck. You know, I haven't really discussed it with my attorney much, but I'm pretty sure just that alone, falsely lying about, and I've got it on tape. And the thing is, I'm not somebody like they accused Johnny Gobel of. I'm not fucking trying to pull them into a courtroom. I, I don't want to pull these people. I don't want to go through any of that. I've been through enough court growing up in my life with custody battles, my parents, my own self as a juvenile, and trying to navigate the world. I've learned my lesson. I always completed my probation. The, the few time that I got it, which was unsupervised for a year, it was completed. It was on misdemeanor things. and. The other thing was completely dropped. Does not, I was told, because remember asking my lawyer, will that affect my, no, 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 you know. I was told, because I asked him on just fucking, um, what date was it? It was uh, June the 27th. And he went over it with me yet again. Because these people are such good at fucking gaslighting and bombarding you to the point you doubt yourself. You doubt and you wonder if they're not telling you the truth. That can be very dangerous because that's a level of manipulation and control and exert over a person that is dangerous and often you would only see in criminal situations. So I'm not keenly happy with the fact that this person, filthy animal, here in 2023 in the great state of the United States of America, thinks he can call another man his property says he's going to break me, tells me to pull the trigger, hang myself, that my mom's in his closet, that he's coming for me, that I'm his bitch, that I need to hurry up and die, that he's going to keep me from working in a field that I earned a degree in. All of this fucking pressure. And people have got the audacity to wonder why I decided to react and do and and talk about an honest man or Dagburn. Like you guys and, and Beachside, you all will huddle up and, and protect one another and you know the type of shit it is, but you just look at me, I guess, as lesser than. That's the problem is that we got a lot of people up in here that think they're superior to other human beings. Ain't nobody superior or inferior. I don't care what lies they told you. Because we got cultures of people that have been told they've been inferior, and we got cultures of people that have been told they're superior. And it's both lies. So, I'll put it to you like this. As long as it keeps up like this, there is never going to be a change for the better. For all of us. I mean, isn't that what we all want? You know, I don't have any time for someone to just completely mock my whole life and family.
So I've been trying to work on myself and work on my health. And I've been able to feel and start to realize that I am making some progress, I think. It may be slow, but it's something. And I don't like people trying to tell me that I can do this, I can't do that. Or and that's exactly what these uh, people in this hate group like to fester off of. They satiate their psychological hunger with the stress and the torment that they put through others through whatever means. They, the more extreme and brutal to elicit a response of agony is more their alley so to speak and people might think this stuff is crazy but it is happening right now before your eyes and nobody is talking about it there's only one state that has signed a bill in law about the issue other states have it only for police officers and that's the doxing bill in kentucky and what I'm talking about must be so important because I have gotten now a phone call back to back for the past almost hour, as well as text messages. And I have refused to look, answer. At the, I just got another one. But I have you know, they're coming for Brownie verse and what? Coming for Brownie and Worky verse square. Fuck who? Fuck you all. The United States of America, dumbass. See it. I'll never be able to stop this faggot. They're, they're sending all types of shit. And that's good, you know. Keep sending that stuff. Yes, I will. I'm going to start reporting you more to hate groups. I'm going to contact the media. I'm going to contact federal law enforcement. Finally, I'm going to stop being... that. That's the problem, is I am a constant procrastinator. And you know what? I know exactly who the hell's been telling you things about me, and I know how you've been getting them about me and what you've been paying for them, you sick fucks. You want to bet? You want to bet? I know all about how much you know about me. Exactly how much. As I'm sitting here, I'm getting texted by these gang stalkers on the phone. Does that happen to Johnny Goble now? No, it does not. Because they know Johnny Goble doesn't have a chance in hell in taking them down like I do. If I kept persistent with it. Fuck all you and your mothers and your fathers and your grandmothers. Fuck all of you motherfuckers that hate me for no reason when you know I haven't done a damn thing to you. Fuck all of you. Kiss my ass and suck my dick. Especially fuck you, Monster Squirrel. Damn fucking booty bandit wannabe. Fuck you, Fusion. Fuck you, filthy animal. Fuck you, wacky jacky. I hope all of you fuck her out. Feel the animal. I hope you fucking have to deal with mm, man. <laughs> like, you motherfuckers deserve it all, and you think you don't. Like, how are you literally going to try to go out and make it your mission to torture 
and humiliate a human being. You can keep sending those fucking text messages. I'm not looking at them. They're evidence. So everyone you send proves how much more of a dumbass you are. I'm just getting the notifications on my computer, and I can turn that shit off real quick. All right, fine, I will. Now I'm not getting the notifications. It's 9 o'clock at night. You ain't going to fuck with me. I'm trying to get high as giraffe pussy. Because I'm having to go. Three milligrams less. Well, about actually today, four milligrams less than what I usually take. Oh, wait, hold on. What is it? Well, yeah, three, about three and a half milligrams less than what I usually take. So. Well, no, I only took. That would mean I took, uh, yeah, three, uh, I took three and a half. So, see, I gotta get that, or not three and a half, I took three and a quarter, if you call it that, or whatever. And, uh, oh, these motherfuckers, they think this shit's funny. They think it's real fucking funny. Now, the only problem is, is when I get done, I'm going to be free of this shit. JM's not, Fusion's not, the other people that take it aren't, which there's more than you know. And then I got something to say to you, uh, alcoholics, TD and such. You're literally the bane of people's existence. You couldn't keep. Uh, I wonder what your life looks like. Because you sound so much like a fucking Joe Exotic looking ass wannabe motherfucker. I swear to God. When I saw him and heard him talk, I thought PD motherfucking wheat straw, the devil, so called son in law. It's exactly what I thought. And I thought, this is him. I found him. No wonder you're so fucking pissed off at me and shit. He's in jail and I'm not. I see they still let him use a tablet and let internet service. And they need to stop that. He's definitely abused that. See, they think that I don't have any gifts or talent, multi talent. It's not about that, though, for me. I didn't come on here to compete with others, especially compete dirty. I didn't want to come on here and disrupt anyone's groups. If they want to have groups and don't want me a part of them, that's fine. Just don't fuck with me. That's all I ask. It's very simple. And they are completely to the point of being... Diso like vocally disobedient that they will not leave me alone like stockish and so that's federal and so is the calling uh so um because some of it's occurred from people out of state uh the ones that's occurred from in state are state charges and that would apply to gandhi uh he definitely should deserve some harassment and charges of stalking, uh, as well as Scooter Beggins from Massachusetts, aka Joe Wall. He deserves charges of stalking and harassment, as well as a uh, civil suit, civil suit for Gandhi. And then Jonathan McCraney, it should be looked into the with the, the case of the police that happened here in Haiti. You know, man, fucking Charlie. For their fucking false report. Get the fucking footage from that day and show it because I remember it. 
They can fucking try to gaslight all they fucking want to. Sick of this shit. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and call again. Because they knew the message wasn't getting to me. That's all right. See, guys, I'll have to get off here. And I'll do it under protest arrest because these people are threatening my life. Like, I am scared. I do not feel safe. I feel like they're going to kill my dog. Or... I never saw this getting to the point that it's gotten to. Uh, it is fucking leave me alone. Stop calling, you fucking degenerate. I mean, I don't know why they're doing it. They act like I don't I won't have the record of the call, even if they fucking dispose of it. Still, the evidence that I'm, I'm not crazy. You know, they're trying to make me look fucking crazy. They've always tried to do that. Because they didn't want me to have any way to defend myself or anything. So they've been trying to make a crazy label stick. But they ain't no judges. They ain't no fucking board or commission. And they haven't had the uh, right to adjudicate me into a long-term commitment facility and be considered mentally defective. So that thing under nothing under 922 G applies <laughs> after a year because <laughs> for now something one of the things does temporarily apply <laughs> but they don't like me because I want to know what to call the law hey don't give a shit about the law, the so-called, some of them, one percenters, the ones that will do the jobs no one else will do. You know, what's y'all's uh, mortality rate, you know, doing the jobs no one else does? I guess that includes burglaring and everything else. Like, just wonder, like, what the fuck, with all the riding and how dangerous everything is. The fucking death rate is like I'm not trying to be disrespectful but that's a serious fucking question um, but truth be told I mean I, I, I got no problem with the motorcycle groups I got no problem with filthy groups uh, filthies have got a problem with me and I don't think it has anything pertaining to the motorcycle groups because I've never disrespected them. I've never tried to impersonate or pretend to be one of them or anything of the sort. So I don't see what business at all that those guys would have with me. Now, getting that out the way, the other thing in the room is the Very real um, like. People need to try to, if they can see, that I, I didn't want um, 
I, I don't want to have I, I don't deserve to deal with any of this. I shouldn't have to deal with any of it. I get another call as I speak right now. They just keep calling. Um, I have to keep changing my phone number and they keep calling anyways. Uh, it, it's not right. I have been falsely accused of abusing my family, which is unfounded and untrue. Uh, they've even been recorded on t- tape saying that they don't have any evidence or of it. Uh, that's because none of it's happened. Um, he's been personally interviewed by people with me, not around him. You know, because he can talk on his own and everything. And if if there was something there, I, I think something would have happened. You know, because he respected the fact and knew from what I told him that y'all had sent that guy out there. That guy still had to do a job, unfortunately. And there wasn't nothing. So there was no no point in me being frustrated or anything, even though I kind of was, I just told him what it was about. And, uh, then I went on back inside and, uh, they decided to stay outside. I know he did that because he wanted to talk to him alone, which again, I had no issue with. So filthy. You have already wasted government resources trying to like stick me on something that doesn't even stick because it doesn't apply. Um, I'm going to ask one last time to respectfully cease and desist Porky Verse and all your operations and everything that goes for all the working verse members of the channel or I am going to take legal action against you and your cohorts and partners. I'll go after I'll sue their families. I'll sue them all. I'll use all the money I possibly have and can get into this endeavor. Because you guys have went utterly insane with your strength and numbers and going on this endeavor trying to break me that you, uh, you've broken it. All right. You've broken my mind open to the fact that I can be just as fucking vicious in a legal, lawful way and take you down in the court of law. So, this is really, this is it. If you don't, just let it go from here. You know, I'm not going to care, obviously, if some stuff gets left up or whatever. I'm not trying to control anybody. But, it, it's seriously beyond time for any more new stuff, especially things that involve offline things that try to reach into my personal life, etc. Like it, it's high time that stops. You know, all the other stuff is questionable. Maybe uh, I don't have the right to tell everybody everything, but at the same time. You know, you you don't, and when it comes to my life, I kind of do, because you are, you know, making me feel in different types of ways in response to this, and it's not healthy for me, and uh, I can get seat damages from all of you in the court. And if you don't have it, then I'll, you know, to your families if I can Um, because I know that you'll end up trying to just like you accuse me falsely which you know there's instances where it's there's nothing wrong or illegal about it and there's instances where you do it specifically because there's a court order or something but 
family members exchange money and property all the time. It's whenever they do it and there's something pending or whatnot or they hear about it somehow and that it gets put out into, you know, they usually will get in trouble for it. But if not, if they don't come around to a year or so later, how are they going to say that they did it pre-meditatively? So anyways, um, yeah, or keepers and people, that's one, riddles. Spooky bags, chain chain. All the all for real, just uh, for the final time, just please, just leave me alone. Please, because I have a lot of things going on. I have to try to get some rest. And be honest with you, I'm, I'm tired of the merry-go-round, and I'm getting off.